All right, hi Capricorn. This is gonna be your reading. This is for Cap. Oh shit, hold on. Oh damn. I forgot the title for Virgo. <laughs> Sorry, Cappy. Hold on. Oh. Damn, okay. Hold on. Capricorn, let me write your name. All right, Cappy. So this is going to be for anyone that has Capricorn placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip and switch the roles. Um, yeah, flip and switch genders and things like that. <clears throat> So Capricorn placements, what do they need to know right now? So we got careless, no car, oh, carless, I'm sorry. So somebody here could be losing a car, something could be going on with somebody's car. We got carless, uh, no car, repo, car issues. So somebody here could be, could be having issues with their car. It doesn't have to be that it's getting repoed. It could just be, I don't know, somebody here could have robbed, some, take, you know, uh, bash somebody's windows or you guys could be getting a paint job or somebody here could be having to pay a lot of tickets um somebody here could be losing somebody's way of transportation could be you know getting in the way but somebody here could be having issues with their car car payments or tickets okay damages whatever or somebody doesn't have a car no more or period what else for capricorn we got same shit, different day, okay. Somebody could be losing their car because they're late on payments or they couldn't they couldn't make a payment. Somebody could be losing their license. They, like I said, tickets. Yeah, same shit, different day. So somebody or somebody's been doing the same thing over and over. What else? And we have love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, and nostalgic. So y'all could be having love on the brain or this is somebody else, okay? You could be thinking of someone or they could be thinking of you. I feel like somebody's behavior is for child. I feel like somebody is trying to prevent themselves from getting bad karma. Yeah. Somebody's a spiritual hater. I feel like somebody's behavior is played out. Somebody does the same shit over and over again. Whenever somebody doesn't get attention, they start drama. Queen rising, stepping into power, praise, coming up, spotlight. Somebody could be a clout chaser. Somebody here could be trying to get clout or uh, somebody here could be into acting or they need, I mean, this type of bullshit. Somebody here needs to do some fucking theater. Somebody's a drama king or a drama queen. Every time somebody is not giving somebody attention or they seem disinterested, they do the same shit. Somebody here is just, they're jealous, okay? Somebody here can see that you're coming into some type of power or spotlight and they're trying to get clout off your name or you could be doing good at work and somebody's trying to do this or somebody could be seeing you this way. But somebody could be starting drama in order to be seen or to come up off of somebody. All these airplanes going by. I feel like somebody's a cloud chaser though. I don't know, somebody's claim to fame is to do shit for attention. What's Carlos for Capricorn placements? Okay, the hangman. Somebody could be giving bad news about earthly matters. Pisces energy, so yeah, somebody's car could be getting repo. You know what I'm thinking? How they hooked the bottom of the car, and so that could be what's happening here. Somebody may have to let go of their car or something, or maybe somebody's getting their car back. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm, that's not what I'm getting. What's Carlos? Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Virgo, Libra, Cusp energy. Somebody could be a September Virgo, September Libra. Ten of Cups in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. The Hermit. Heavy Virgo here. 
uh, somebody feels really like scared, paranoid. There could be trouble heading somebody's way. Okay, Ten of Cups in reverse is like domestic uh, unhappiness, uh, unhappy home. This could even be domestic violence. Okay, somebody here could be scared to speak up about that for some of you. Somebody could feel like they're stuck in this family or home situation. They don't. Somebody here can't really find a way out. They feel confused. Or this is somebody here could be giving somebody bad advice to stay somewhere. What's this hey man? Yeah, the will of fortune in reverse. Sagittarius, Pisces energy. Somebody's getting bad karma. Yep, two of pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. Somebody's karma is hitting their pockets. And it's because they've been take somebody's been taking bad advice or giving bad advice, and it's gonna it's gonna hit somebody's pockets. I said in your last reading, somebody's gonna end up broke, depressed, and miserable for all the hateful things that they've been doing or participating in. Somebody, yeah, somebody here is trying to, somebody here could be switching money from accounts, uh, you know, putting taking money from their savings to their checking. Somebody's getting bad news with their money. Somebody's, yeah, somebody here could be getting bad news with their money. Or somebody's trying to balance out their finances. Somebody here could be trying to juggle something, figure something out. Some of you guys are being called to stay open, flexible, and adaptable. Something could be up in the air for you. You could be procrastinating on doing something. Maybe you have to choose between two different things. Maybe you have a lot to balance. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse could be negative patterns on repeat, bad timing. What's this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Nine of Cups, Jupiter and Pisces. Yeah, Ten of Swords here. Some type of betrayal ending. Something or somebody could be getting rejected for something. Yeah, Justice is here. Three of Wands, Ten of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups. Yeah, Page of Wands in reverse. The Strength in reverse. Leo energy. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody made a bad investment, possibly. Somebody could be growing frustrated with something. Somebody is toxic, the devil, Capricorn. That could be, this could be another Capricorn. I feel like somebody's holding a grudge. Somebody here could be going to jail. The chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy. Somebody, yeah, somebody's not going to be able to drive. <laughs> somebody's going to be getting bad news with something. Something with somebody's money. Yep. <laughs> It's not funny, but it's funny. What's this page of wands in reverse? Yeah, three of swords in reverse, queen of cups. Somebody here is very, somebody acts out a lot. Nine of cups, somebody here could be overindulging in something. I don't know, somebody got caught drinking and driving or caught smoking and dry or something like that. A page of wands in reverse, somebody here acts out a lot. Somebody behaves, somebody's child. You can have a child that's acting out. Somebody here with the nine of cups with the page of wands in reverse. Somebody here is like really greedy, you know, Something is a some something is just a negative pattern. Three of swords in reverse. This could be about a reconciliation and apology. Queen of Cups in reverse, the seven of swords. Yeah, somebody's trying to escape something or get out of something. Or get away with doing something. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, June Cancer, June Gemini. Somebody's very emotionally manipulative. They're a liar. They gossip. Somebody is really somebody's really loud. They're boisterous. They're loud. They give bad advice. They're very somebody with the Queen of Swords in reverse is very toxic. Extremely toxic. And this could be a woman that's just in masculine energy that's very controlling, domineering. What's this three of swords in reverse? Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse, Mars and Capricorn, five of cups in reverse, 
Mars and Scorpio. Somebody here could be in deep regret. Somebody's just not happy. They're not having a good time. Somebody here likes to stare shit up. This could be a hostile work environment with three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here could be losing a job. I also feel like with the three of pentacles in reverse, somebody's not being a team player. And I don't feel like somebody feels really bad about this. Somebody could want to apologize, but uh, what's the three of swords in reverse? Five of wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody here, t Saturn and Leo. So this could be one or two things. This could, this could be somebody taking something too far. Or somebody wanting to apologize. Somebody could have ruined somebody's car, their rental, or whatever this was because they were upset. They took something too far. Whatever this is. Or somebody could want to make amends with the five of wands in reverse. Somebody could want to come out of conflict. But I feel like with the nine of cups, it's for self, it's for selfish reasons. It's not really, it's because somebody's getting bad karma. Now somebody, somebody only wants to be nice. For, it's because they're getting bad karma. <laughs> That's like the only reason. It's pathetic. This is not genuine. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Five of Cups. Somebody's behavior is extremely predictable. They act out, they do stupid shit, and then they say sorry, they cry. They, it, it, somebody does the same shit. Mar, uh, Mars and Scorpio. Yeah, now somebody feels, some, there's too much water under the bridge. Somebody didn't want to cooperate with someone. They didn't want to be a team player. Somebody is lazy. They have no work ethic. This could be a hostile work environment. Somebody's very immature or these group of people are immature. Something could be involving kids. Okay, five of cups here. This is like regret, sadness. What's this five of cups? Somebody did, yeah, king of wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Could be a cancer as well. July cancer, July Leo. So this could be this king of wands who feels in deep regret. Somebody's behavior is really predictable. Either they're noticing this behavior about someone in their energy or you are. Mm. Somebody thought they were going to get this Ace of Pentacles by doing something, by stirring up some drama, getting somebody to gossip about a person, and they're not getting it. Page of Pentacles in reverse. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse? Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. April Taurus, April Aries. Somebody is losing money. This person could be mentally ill or they're sick. King of Pentacles here in reverse. Somebody could be losing a lot of weight or gaining a lot of weight. Somebody's hair could even be thinning or getting really brittle. I also feel like somebody is severely dehydrated. King of Pentacles is someone that's very selfish. They're a liar. This person is there, very exploitative. This could be a woman that's very masculine. Somebody here could be a scam artist, okay? With that King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be a scammer. They're lazy. They're sloppy. All they want to do is overindulge. This person, somebody here is extremely selfish, extremely selfish, and they're reckless with their sex life. Somebody gives themselves to everybody. King of Pen man or woman, king of pentacles in reserve. Somebody is non-committal, they're a cheater, they're nasty. Somebody here could be sick or they're struggling with their finances. Somebody's getting really bad karma. Oh, mm, uh, yeah. So, king of pentacles in reverse. High priestess in reverse. There could be a secret coming out about a man's sexuality. Some, uh, there could be a man that's into the same sex or this woman could be into other women. Flip and switch it. High priestess, cancer, Pisces energy. The high priestess in reverse is like a big secret coming out. Or somebody here could have lied or somebody runs their fucking mouth too much with the queen of swords in reverse. They gossip, they nag. Somebody had a lot of emotional outbursts. Somebody has no self-control. They're lazy. They're just not a team player. Somebody can have up to three cars or somebody's gotten rejected for the third time for something or they're about to. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. 
There could be a secret being revealed here. What's this? Um, somebody's trying to be really strategic about something. Not, high priestess in reverse. What's the high priestess? Somebody here could be, some, this could be a dark witch too. Or this could be a man who's a warlock. High priestess in reverse. So, yeah, the, the world in reverse. Somebody needs to cut their losses. Somebody is, this is a fail. Somebody's losing a lot. So whatever investment somebody made, man or woman, they're losing. Somebody is, something is a waste of time, money, and energy. Some, there could be delays with something regarding somebody's car. Somebody may not be able to travel, okay? The world is a uh, Taurus, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo energy. You can have that in your chart somewhere, this person does. There could be something even coming out online. The world in reverse could, uh, the world is social media. It's the World Wide Web. Maybe for some of you guys, your car could be in the shop and maybe it's not finished or this is somebody else. So what's the world in reverse? Yeah, two of pentacles. Something is up in the air. There's somebody's, oh, Jupiter and Capricorn. Yeah, eight of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here could be, uh, Oof, somebody's karma does not look good. Yeah, somebody should never do what they did or said what they said. Something is fluctuating. This could be somebody's finances. <laughs> yeah, eight of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here could be, somebody's hours could be getting cut short or somebody here could be in debt with the eight of pentacles in reverse. Two of pentacles. Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, no transportation, no car. Somebody cannot move forward with something. Something is blocked. Somebody is going to be losing a car or something. They're not going to be able to move forward. If it's not an actual car, think of cars as symbolizations of forward movement and being able to move around and things like that. Somebody's forward movement in life, period, is, gonna, is about to be restricted. Six of Swords in reverse. Mercury and Aquarius, if it's not an actual car, it's just somebody's forward movement. There could be trouble heading somebody's way. <clears throat> Somebody is stuck or something is progressing really slowly. What somebody's gonna have to prioritize, somebody's gonna have to give up something. Somebody's gonna have to somebody's gonna have to make a big sacrifice. If some and you know what this is also? Somebody's gonna have to make some changes that they don't want to make, and because they don't want to make these changes, somebody is somebody here is a people pleaser. Somebody's a people pleaser, so this person does what they think pleases others, and it's starting to, and it and it's, it's even at the expense of their at the expense of their luck. Somebody's luck is is not looking too good. Somebody here is living a double life. They're trying to be one way to and then be another way. Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody is just about to be stuck where they are. Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody has inner child issues that they need to heal. Six of Swords in reverse. I feel like this King of Wands, man or woman, it's upright, but remember the Page of Wands is in reverse. This person's inner child is fucked up. Somebody has some past wounds from when they were younger, maybe when they were a teenager or younger than that, that, I mean, they come off like they're confident, like they're assertive, but they're not. This person's a people pleaser. They're a people pleaser. And this person is trying to please people around them that don't even care about them. Or oh, this is you. Six of Swords in reverse. The Chariot in reverse. Somebody here could be getting locked up. Cancerian energy or somebody's car is not working, is not starting. Somebody's forward movement is blocked, restricted. There's roadblocks. Somebody could, this could even be a car accident, a natural disaster. Somebody here wasn't really paying attention. Somebody was trying to do two things at once. And this, you know, if this is a rental, somebody damaged a rental or somebody has damaged their car or a car. King of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> So the, the, the Queen of Swords in reverse with the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. 
Capricorn energy. Somebody could be a December Capricorn. Or Jan the Queen of Pentacles is December Capricorn. And the King of Swords is January Capricorn. Some of you guys could be on a cusp of Sagittarius. So again, you could be a December Capricorn, December Sag. Or January Capricorn, January Aquarius. Somebody's a liar. This could even be a couple that scam. They cheat on each other with the Queen and King of Pentacles in reverse. They lie to each other. They're nasty people. King and Queen of Swords in reverse. Very nasty energy. Somebody here is narcissistic. This could be a man or a woman or both. Very narcissistic. They're a liar. They're abusive. Very op they're overly judgmental, overly critical. They're lazy. They're a bad parent, bad step parent. They're messy. Black. They, they have poor hygiene. Anyways, chariot in reverse. These people are very materialistic. Chariot in reverse. Or this person. Chariot in reverse. Chariot in reverse. Somebody is blocked. Somebody cannot move forward. Like I said, somebody's car is fucked up. There's car issues, car being repoed. No car, period. Somebody can't get to something because they don't have a car or they don't have... Somebody here could be losing a company car, whatever the fuck it is. Somebody's being more and more restricted as the days go. That's somebody's karma. They're going to be more and more restricted. King of uh, Chariot in reverse. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. Something. There's no forward movement. There's no growth. Somebody's faking their wealth. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus Libra energy. So this could be a mother figure that's been giving somebody bad advice. Or somebody can't move forward in life because they have this baby mother, their wife, spouse, or their mother, child's mother, whoever that's influencing them. Somebody that's very overbearing, insecure. They don't know their worth. They're needy. They're codependent. They're very hateful. Somebody here could even be uh, racist. Somebody's a distorted feminine. They're not an empress or a goddess. Well, who's this king of wands? Yeah, the three of pentacles in reverse. This could be somebody that you work with, man or woman, Mars and Capricorn. Somebody that doesn't want to cooperate with you. You can't, you can't get on the same page. Somebody here is a voice. Somebody here needs to get help, but they don't want to get help. I feel like somebody's getting bad news. And, and for others of you, this is somebody getting bad news about their car. Something may, somebody may have to get a new car or something's going to cost a lot of money. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's getting bad news. Somebody here could also be obsessed with watching Tarot or abusing divination. Who's this Empress in reverse? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That could be someone in somebody's family or they, who they have a family with. To, or you. To Empress in reverse. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah. Gemini Sun energy. Child, somebody's trying to get away with something. This could be this Empress. Yeah. The Emperor and the Justice. Mm hmm yeah, something's being rejected. Or somebody can't somebody here can't take rejection. Somebody cannot take rejection well. Anyways, Ten of Swords here, a betrayal. Somebody's child's mother could have backstabbed and betrayed them with a friend or with somebody that they work with or something like that. Or you, I don't know. A lot of with the three of cups in reverse, a lot of malicious gossip, fake ass friends. Something could be going on at work. There could be, like I said, three of pentacles in reverse could be a hostile work environment. Yeah, there's some type of curse possibly that somebody was placing on somebody. Something, somebody's experiencing whatever this ten of swords is. Somebody here could have tried to get somebody into an accident or run somebody off the road. The chariot in reverse, something is out of hand. Either somebody had gotten into an accident or they're, or something is just out of hand. Somebody's going through it. Somebody's going to be going through a very painful ending. Whoever, whoever's this nasty ass person, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles in reverse, Empress in reverse. This could be a man that has mommy issues. It could be a woman. It could be a couple. It could be whoever the fuck it is. Ten of Swords is here. It's not going to be looking too pretty for somebody. What same shit, different day.
somebody just creates hostility wherever they go wherever somebody goes whatever somebody's a part of they cause death and endings and hostility somebody is just a problem what no matter where somebody goes they are the problem hermit here virgo energy yeah now somebody is scared so they're a burden they're way down four wands in reverse again this could be a hostile environment four wands in reverse there, there could be instability a lot of disagreements um a lack of support from a community or from family somebody doesn't really support somebody somebody here could be moving out somebody could be packing their bags and moving or kicking what's the same shit different than yeah page of swords somebody's paranoid they're looking over their shoulder somebody has no peace of mind death in reverse scorpio energy somebody's trying to be yeah death in reverse Somebody doesn't want something to end. Somebody could be trying to start a smear campaign. Somebody could even be, there, this could be a mob of people that have ill intentions. Somebody here could be trying to rob somebody, set somebody up, get somebody jumped. Everything is coming to light. The sun here, Leo energy. Everything is being brought to light. Six of pentacles in reverse. A moon and Taurus. Yep, somebody here could have to pay back pay or something with the back pay child support with the six of pentacles alone possibly somebody's not gonna be able to pay or they have to take out a loan for something maybe for a home or a home repairs or to move what's this hermit in reverse somebody could be trying to scare somebody threaten them yeah three of wands you could be seeing three 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 of wands three of swords three of pentacles virgo Virgo, Sagittarius, and Aries got 333. Three, three. So you can have Aries, Virgo, or Sag. Or you're dealing with somebody that does have it in their chart. Somebody is scared about what's to come. Somebody knows something is coming in for them and they looking over their shoulder, they're worried. Somebody is worried. Three of Wands, Aries, Sun energy. Somebody could be a March Pisces, March Aries with the Queen of Wands. What's this? Somebody here could be really competitive, jealous, insecure, very, very sexual. Three of Wands. Yeah, Justice. Somebody's worried about some type of legal action here because it's not going to go in somebody's favor. Whoever was wrong, whoever wasn't being cooperative, it could be this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, who has not been cooperating. Somebody is setting somebody up for to, to fail. It could be whoever this, whoever somebody, somebody's getting bad advice from somebody that they are around and somebody is, yeah, somebody's worried about whatever this justice, this legality is. Yeah, what's justice here? Somebody here needs to be held accountable or well, they could, they know they need to do the right thing. What's the justice here? Somebody could be trying to get information, ask questions. What's justice? Yeah, the moon in reverse, fear, deception, self-deception. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. Yeah, somebody's intuition is blocked. Their heart is blocked. I feel like somebody's just moving in haste, and it's gonna, it's gonna, somebody here. Whatever somebody thinks they're doing to an innocent person who doesn't, who didn't deserve this hatefulness. There could be a broken family, a broken home here. Whoever wasn't being cooperative, whoever was giving somebody a hard time, they're gonna pay for that. They're gonna pay for that. It's going to be, somebody's about to get real, somebody's about to be embarrassed in court, amongst people. It, it's going to get really, really bad. Somebody here could be really moody, depressed. They can't see their way out of something. Somebody here is in denial. Somebody's dick is not working as it should no more with that ace of wands in reverse. Somebody's crying a lot. There are a lot of repressed emotions. Somebody's always playing victim to shit that they caused or whatever they participated in. It, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be really uh, something's being revealed here. What's this moon in reverse? Yeah, two of cups in reverse. Venus and Cancer. So this could even be something about a friend or a relationship. This could be like a breakup. People that two people that don't get along with each other. Two of Cups in reverse. A disunion. What's this Two of Cups in reverse? This could be an ex of you, the, the devil. Capricorn energy. Something is like, this could be an off and on connection. 
okay two of pentacles two of cups and two of wands y'all could be seeing two two twos so decisions choices i feel like something is toxic with this devil here this could be you capricorn and this toxic ass connection okay with the devil you could be the one that's in that domestic violent or that you know that toxic family dynamic or this could be somebody else um yeah so you got two 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 what's the the devil yeah eight of cups i feel like something something is just there's a, a relationship that's very karmic it's toxic it's the same shit different day a lot of mind games somebody's karma yeah eight of cups saturn and pisces somebody's karma is to be stuck with a person that they don't get along with where there's abuse a lack of growth where they're going to be in the five of pentacles mercury and taurus somebody that's going to be bullied oh, the only thing that the only thing that's good about this connection is possibly the sex if that yeah somebody this is somebody's karma it's to be in a connection where there's no love. It's just codependency, toxicity. Somebody's emotionally absent. Somebody has already somebody has already emotionally checked out of something. And I just feel like they're either you and somebody you're hanging on or this is somebody else. But there's two people hanging on or somebody's hanging on to a breakup or they can even be holding a grudge. But look how this devil, all these people are chained. They have all these chains worshiping this devil. There's a relationship that is very karmic and toxic it's the same shit different day off and on up and down makeups to breakups it's toxic what's this page of swords somebody's gonna be stuck yeah seven of wands somebody here could be blocked mars and uh leo something is toxic there's no love in a situation it's strictly just codependency seven of wands you yeah, get a temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Somebody is very hot tempered, they're an antagonist. Somebody's very defensive. Somebody's always watching someone. Somebody's always on guard. You could be on guard with this person, or they're on guard with you. Somebody's in this. I feel like this is a situation where two people antagonize each other a lot. Very petty. Temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse. They're only to, I feel like this is a couple, whether this is you and somebody else or whoever. This is a couple that's only together. It's a fake relationship. I feel like something, somebody's, this is like a contract. This is like some type of soul tie that somebody is stuck in. They want to get out of this, but they don't know how or they can't. Somebody's abundance, fertility, their luck, everything is cursed. Somebody went down the wrong path and everything is blocked for somebody. Because they went down the wrong path. They went back to somebody, stayed with somebody, went down the wrong way. Something is just blocked for somebody. Temperance in reverse. You or somebody can have Sag in their chart. What's temperance in reverse? Somebody could be bipolar, nine of pentacles. Venus in Virgo. Somebody, I feel like somebody spends beyond their means. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Wands in reverse. I feel like somebody here acts single. They overindulge. Somebody here can smoke a lot. Yes, unrequited love. Something is just transactional. Six of Pentacles in reverse. There's no love here. It's you do for me, I do for you. You do this for me, I do that for you. There's no love here. Somebody's, yeah, what's this Ace of Wands in reverse? Yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse. Mars in Gemini. I feel like somebody's trying to break free. Yeah, somebody has a lot of addiction. Sex addictions, alcohol, drugs, spending, eating, whatever the fuck. Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. You could be seeing 999. Gemini, Libra. Aries and Sag got 999. So you may want to go watch them. Somebody here could be part of some type of cult. The Herophon, Three of Cups in Reverse. 
Nine of Swords here, Mars and Gemini. What's the Nine of Swords in reverse? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's losing a lot of money. Virgo energy. Somebody's losing a lot of money. Somebody could be in debt. Somebody is somebody's also non-committal. They act like they're sick. Somebody here is always cheating. Again, this could be a couple where they cheat on each other. Again, people with the devil with the two of cups in reverse. That's just cold. Like I said, no love. People that is like oil and water. They don't mix. They don't have nothing. And they have very little in common. The only thing that's in common is maybe addiction, smoking, drinking, fucking, you know, trying to look like something that they're not. That's the only thing that these people have in common. Or that's the only thing that you and this person have in common. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's hitting a dead end. Somebody keeps hitting a dead end. Somebody's in deep, 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 deep regret. Or they're about to be. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here is very light. Somebody's very deceptive. Somebody's, yeah, somebody's very deceptive. Somebody is just a lot. There's a lot of self-deception because of somebody's addictions, ego. This even It could be spell work, manipulation involved, a lot of sex magic too. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody that somebody's not doing the shadow work. They're not. They're not working on themselves. They're not cleansing themselves. Somebody here is ungrounded. Yeah. Oh my God. Somebody's a dark witch. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a dark witch. December Capricorn. But December Capricorn, December Sag. You got a Virgo Gemini energy. Somebody's a dark witch. They do root work or they or they pay people to do this shit or somebody's a gold digger. They're money hungry. They're materialistic. They're very mean spirit. The queen of pentacles in reverse is a bad mother, bad stepmother, bad or father, whatever. The king of pentacles is in reverse. Both of these bitches are bad parents. The page of wands, somebody's child could be acting out in school with the page of wands in reverse. Okay, both of these people are bad parents. They're both non-committal. They're both lazy, materialistic, superficial, overindulgent. I mean, I can go on. But somebody is very manipulative, very spiteful, very nasty. And they and they have poor hygiene. They're sloppy. They're a mess. Somebody's a mess. Somebody could be losing a lot of weight. Somebody here could be dibbling, dabbling into different drugs. For some of you guys, for others of you on a lighter note, you could be procrastinating on a goal, okay? Some of you guys aren't utilizing your, your talents or your skills to your full potential. And that could be why your finances aren't where, the, uh, aren't where you want them to be. There could be a lack of clarity, a lack of resources, but somebody's ungrounded and just, uh, somebody here could be sick. Both of these people could be sick. The king and queen of pentacles in reverse. They're both nasty people. They both could be addicted to drugs, sex, cheating, abuse, whatever. Yeah, they both out in the cold sick. King of Swords in reverse. Somebody that's very uh, judgmental, very overly critical. Somebody judges people and points the fingers at what other people are doing. Somebody's a hypocrite. They point the fingers and they and they criticize others, but they don't. But it's a, but they they are messed them fucking selves. Make it make sense. How you point the finger and criticize others, but you're a mess yourself. Somebody is a hypocrite. Somebody's also a liar. Somebody's hitting a dead end with something. Whatever this was, this gossip, this abuse. Somebody's, the king of swords in reverse is a very nasty energy. Somebody doesn't, somebody with the eight of pentacles in reverse, they don't do no self work. Somebody does not work on themselves. They only want to take shortcuts. Now, what's love on the brain? Who's this king of swords in reverse? Somebody is very bitter, very nasty. King of swords in reverse. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You could be seeing ten, ten, ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Somebody fakes their wealth. Somebody here is in debt really bad. Somebody's going to have to be fucking eating water and bread soon. Mercury and Virgo with this Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's faking their wealth. They're losing a lot of money. A family business could be going under. Somebody here is about to be unemployed. Or both of these people are... Who, whoever this couple was, if there was two people, three people, whoever was in on purposely hurting somebody, being mean, being nasty, being hateful, both people are going to be unemployed and broke and in debt. 
what's love on the brain or whoever was involved is gonna yeah love on the brain dreaming fantasizing daydreaming nostalgic just a warning love on the brain yeah ten of wands somebody is burdened somebody here could be fantasizing about somebody else Saturn and Sagittarius. I feel like somebody is with somebody that they don't really want to be there. And it's something, somebody is just burning their way down. So, you know, somebody could want, somebody may miss someone else, like I said, regardless of what's happening or going on on the surface. Um, Sagittarius, Aquarius, they both got 10, 10, 10. What's love on the brain? Yeah, somebody's ten of cups in reverse. Somebody's in some type of family or home dynamic where they're fucking miserable. They hate it there. Somebody's idolizing and fantasizing about somebody else or going anywhere else but where they're at. Love on the brain. Nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody's beating a dead horse with something. Somebody's not. A, yeah, the, somebody has. Oh gosh, somebody has a lot of one night stands with this nine of cups in reverse. Somebody here could be on the down low. November Sag, November Scorpio, Leo here with the strength, February Pisces or Aquarius. Somebody here could be on the down low. Something could be going on with somebody's sexuality. Somebody here is really reckless with their sex life, but they're just reckless, period. I also feel like somebody here is just, somebody's cheating a lot because they're not happy, they, they're not happy or they're not meant to be with whoever they're with. Just period. Nine of Cups in reverse could be somebody that's insincere, could be a dirty offer, a troublemaker. Somebody's really hot tempered. They have no self control. Somebody sleeps around a lot. A lot of one night stands. Like I said, somebody could be on a down low. Yeah, somebody's losing attraction for something or someone. Nine of Wands in reverse, Moon and Sagittarius. Something's an ongoing battle. Somebody's idolizing the past with somebody, which is keeping them stuck with where they're at. They, you know, or somebody's thinking somebody's going to change. They're not. Ten of Wands. What's the Ten of Wands? And if they do change, they change for a little bit. And then a month or two later, they go back to their bullshit. Maybe three months later. But, you know, it's just something is very... Somebody's behavior is very predictable. Ten of Wands. Six of Wands in reverse. Somebody's... <laughs> Jupiter and, and uh, Leo. Yeah, somebody's putting on a mask. Somebody is just pretending. This could be a smear campaign also with the Six of Wands in reverse. Somebody is stressed and burdened, though. There's a mob of people that have ill intention. Somebody's in their ego, too. Yeah, somebody feels like a failure. Yeah, somebody's realizing. Somebody feels like they failed at something. Or somebody gave up on themselves or they gave up at the last hurdle. Six of Wands in reverse. Somebody's a people. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. August Virgo, August uh, Leo. I feel like somebody's trying to be methodical and strategic. Somebody doesn't want to be seen by. Somebody's trying to do something low key. Somebody's trying to be strategic and methodical about whatever they're doing. I don't know if somebody has a crush on you. You have a crush on somebody. Three of cups in reverse. Somebody could be dealing with somebody's friend or the friend of the, the friend of the family. There could be a lot of gossip amongst friends, family with the three of cups, ten of cups in reverse. Somebody's family could have got into something or somebody brought somebody's family into something. Somebody needs to apologize. They still want to get this karma, but something, somebody's, I mean, what's this not a pentacles? Yeah, Eight of Wands in reverse. What's this Nine of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, whatever somebody's plan is, it's not going to work. Somebody here thought they had a, somebody thought they was being strategic, methodical. Something, somebody's getting bad news. Somebody could have been dragging their feet 
into giving an offer, into helping somebody out financially. Like everything is just, it's all bad. Somebody's just getting bad karma, bad karma. It's hitting, it's hitting this, this person or these people's finances. Your finances, whoever you were in cahoots with, whoever you're laying up with is hitting their finances, your finances, who, or whoever was against you is hitting everybody's, people are getting their finances hit for this bullshit. People are about to be unemployed. Up to three to six people are going to be unemployed or getting bad news in different ways. Nine of swords in reverse. Somebody is very two-faced. Somebody is dangerously two-faced. Somebody runs their fucking mouth. Somebody's a bully or they try to be. Nine of swords in reverse. Somebody, this is a criminal. Nine of swords in reverse is a criminal. So I don't know what, yeah. Somebody here could be like a cutter, trigger warning. Somebody here can harm themselves when they get upset. Somebody got problems or they threaten to harm them. They threaten, they either harm them, they cut themselves or they threaten to do things to themselves or the people, they put other people in harm's way. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody's repressing their feelings for somebody. The Ace of Cups in reverse. They act one way to the public, but really, somebody is still pressing, obsessed about somebody else. Not the person that they're living with or married to or laying up with. The person that they're at odds with, quote unquote. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Four of Cups. Moon and Cancer. Somebody is up. Somebody here also can't take rejection too. <laughs> somebody's mad they got rejected somebody's getting left the fuck behind now somebody's trying to harm somebody or, or they're trying to be spiteful and petty somebody's a loser you bitches can never f just fucking let somebody the fuck go we end up looking fucking stupid somebody's also trying to ruin somebody's reputation so they can't get new love or so a love can't be renewed somebody's a loser nine of wands in reverse or somebody trying to fuck with somebody's self-esteem. Somebody's a fucking loser, like I said. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn, Sun Energy. Yeah, something's being illuminated and revealed. What's this? Somebody's trying to avoid the inevitable. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody got backstabbed and betrayed somebody by some somebody got backstabbed and betrayed by somebody over and over and over again. Now somebody has lost their car, they lost their job, or they can't co-parent properly with the three of pentacles in reverse could be a co-parenting card as well. Can't get along, can't collaborate. Somebody's a fucking loser. Everywhere somebody goes, they just fucking cause endings. There's somebody's a fucking walking curse. It's this fucking empress in reverse. They're codependent. They're needy. They're controlling. They're overbearing. They have no self-worth. They need help. Like, it's pathetic. Somebody here is just, is, is they bring hostility everywhere they fucking go. Four pentacles in reverse. Somebody is deeply insecure. Four pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Somebody here can wanna somebody here can wanna confess something and say something to somebody. Somebody's consciousness could be starting to kick in about something. Somebody's running out of time to do the right thing. And this is or somebody somebody's losing a lot of money. Somebody's ancestors are out for blood, literally. And it's coming and it's hitting somebody's pockets. Especially if they were supposed to come up off something and they didn't want to support who they were supposed to support. Yeah, they're about to come up off that in other areas of their life. And it's not going to stop until they do the right thing. And even by then, because they waited for so long, it's just going to be worse and worse and worse. Judgment here, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to have to give up or come up off something. Somebody could be missing somebody, okay? For judgment and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. Mm. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June Cancer, June Gemini. Something could be coming out in court about somebody that's very manipulative, spiteful, frivolous. Somebody is unhappy, not, somebody is not, somebody does not, something is unrequited love. 
somebody does not love somebody's realizing somebody's waking up to the fact that they were they've been idolizing someone trying to change someone who's just never going to change this could be a man waking up to the fact that this woman this fake ass empress in reverse is just keep setting them up keep backstabbing them keep betraying them keep hurting them or whatever the fuck they're doing cheating on them again or fucking their friends again using them again or interfering with something again like somebody's just never gonna somebody's waking up to the fact somebody's seen something clearly about whoever that queen of cups in reverse is something is an ongoing battle it's beating a dead horse somebody just wanted to have control over something somebody was in the two in denial to see it Somebody doesn't want to face something. They're scared, but they're not going to have a choice. Somebody's about to be stripped of every fucking thing. They're about to be in this five of fucking pentacles. Them and whoever the fuck. Yeah, they're about to be sitting there crying. Sick, possibly, too. Especially two people fucking cheating on each other. It's fucking gross. Anyways. Chakra messages. Yeah, somebody's very emotionally manipulative. Somebody just kept somebody eye. Somebody's just very good at manipulating somebody's emotions, playing on their soft spot. Yeah, stubbornness. Somebody was just too stubborn, too much in their ego. They, they, they thought they thought people were jealous. They thought, you know, they didn't want to see it. But meanwhile, they keep getting betrayed and backstabbed by this person. Or oh, this is you. Ungrounded, yeah. Somebody is very ungrounded. Detachment. Mm. I feel like somebody's detached from themselves. Difficulty accepting change. Somebody doesn't know how to accept change. They're too controlling. What else? Feeling insecure. Yeah. Somebody's ex yeah low self esteem. Somebody's very insecure. And that's why they're so controlling. They gossip. There's somebody who's trying to tarnish somebody's reputation all because they're insecure and threatened by this person and jealous. It's pathetic. You bitches are corny. And you're losers. Yeah, materialistic, materialistic ass people focusing on the wrong things. Yeah, lack of confidence. Overreacting. Yeah, somebody has all these emotional outbursts. They're loud. They're unladylike. What's the last? Yeah, root chakra. Somebody's root chakra is all fucked up. I'll wait till the airplane goes by. It's too loud. Uh, root chakra, safety, stability, survival, security. Uh, we got red jasper, ruby, hematite. The element is earth. Archangel Gabriel. It says, I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here. Again, if you guys want to use this for affirmation, I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here. So somebody here, their root chakra is fucked up. They're insecure. They're ungrounded. They're unstable. Somebody could be part of a cult. They worship the fucking devil. They're demonic. They're toxic. They're codependent. Materialistic. They overspend. Overindulge. Lonely and misunderstood. I feel like somebody feels alone in a crowded room. They go home to somebody and feel alone. They live with somebody and feel alone. They go to work. Somebody here just feels alone. They're just lonely. Somebody's been betraying themselves for so fucking long and sad. Yeah, resentment. Somebody here can have built up resentment. Inability to give or receive freely. Lack of love and compassion. Guarded because of past hurt. Controlling and manipulative. Closed off from the truth. Somebody here doesn't want to see the truth because of their ego. I feel like it's a man who can't see the truth about a woman that, that's laying, that they're laying up with or that they're whatever with that has been really fucking with their life. Somebody here gives with strings attached. They're very transactional. It's very, somebody's love is very conditional. What else? Maybe somebody didn't have a good mother. Lying and deceptive behavior. Yeah, somebody's, everything somebody does is very performative. Very, yeah, very performative. Detached from your emotions. And we got fearful and scared. 
unawakened and feeling lost, codependency, depressed, feeling unworthy, unable to self reflect, unresolved guilt, not trusting your intuition. Somebody's not trusting your unstable and insecure. Somebody's not trusting your intuition. And somebody could be living with somebody that's unstable and insecure. Somebody has a mental disorder. Somebody here could be bipolar. Somebody has some issues around their sexuality. Mm -hmm. Somebody can have sex addictions or they have addictions to drugs, sex, pornography. Somebody's detached from their emotions. Their heart is closed off. They're not doing. They're not doing the shadow work. They're not doing the inner work. Somebody here needs to go see a psychiatrist. They won't do it. They don't think they have a problem. They do. They're in denial. Somebody's in denial about something or someone. It's a mess. Somebody has. Somebody is just overly sensitive. Even I just. Yeah, somebody's not happy with that four of cups. There's no love here. Somebody's with somebody that does not love them. Somebody's only with somebody for money and for the because they care, they're obsessed with their image. Oh, how would it look if you leave me and and ah 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 ah? That's you know that how is it gonna make everything is how's how, everything is how's it gonna make us or how's it gonna make me look? Somebody is just superficial. They don't love you or you don't love them or cross watch it as Capricorn doesn't love you. Man or woman, or flip and switch it, or you don't love them, or like I said, they don't love you. And somebody just doesn't want to see that because they don't want to. Somebody here hates being wrong. This, this is a person with that king, and somebody here can't see or think straight. Somebody's logic is off. And this is a person, the king of swords, is somebody that's just very logic, all facts, no emotions, but yet they're the first. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> somebody just can't see clearly. Somebody cannot see clearly. They can't see or think straight, literally. Somebody is going to be stuck somewhere. You could be seeing AAA. Yeah. Somebody got bad advice to go back to somebody, to stay with somebody, or to go be with somebody else, or whatever. I just feel like somebody's unhappy where they're at. There's no love. They don't, they're don't. they not satisfied, or maybe they're satisfied. I mean, I feel like somebody's satisfied and like, somebody chose a 20% over their 80%. Because somebody had 80% or they had the potential to get 80%, and say that missing 20% was somebody's looks or somebody had a car or somebody had more money or because they were trying to please other people because something or somebody else was more acceptable. And that 20% that, that somebody chose is even, whatever was the 20% of somebody that they liked is gone. For some of you, if somebody chose somebody else because they had a car, that somebody was losing their car. If they chose somebody else because they look better, they're losing their looks. Or something about that person is just becoming to where they may not even be able to touch that person. Or if it was because of their job, they're losing their job. You know, whatever it was, they're losing, it's being lost. So it's like, you know, you, you lost an 80% for a 20%. Now somebody's going to have to live the rest of their life with a 20%. When they could have had 80. And everybody doesn't even get 80. You're lucky if you get 80. So somebody either had it and lost it. Or they had the, or they had the opportunity. So somebody's karma. They're going to have to just settle. They're just going to have to be somewhere. Where they don't get along with somebody. They don't have much in common. They don't. Yeah, they, they don't there's a lot of animosity. Hostility. Abuse. Unhappiness. Cheating superficiality they're gonna have to be there no growth no expansion somebody's just gonna have to just let life pass them by and wonder what if they're gonna just be stuck there fantasizing about what their life could have been but they're not gonna be able to have it because they're stuck with this person so or they stuck with themselves but anyways this is your reading capricorn like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye